Landscapes are made up of many different parts, including landforms such as hills, gullies, creeks and plains, as well as the plants and animals that live on and within them. Imagine a giant three metre tall kangaroo munching gum tree leaves in an open woodland by a meandering river. Landscapes like this existed in many places in Australia thousands of years ago, but animals, plants, rivers and even hills and gullies change over time. Landscapes are very dynamic places. There are many different processes that change landscapes, including water, fire and wind. Some of these are natural processes and others are caused by people. Sometimes these are gentle, slow processes like eroding mountains and sometimes they are big events like cyclones that change the landscape quickly. While we can see many of these changes happening ourselves every day, how do we know what the landscape looked like in the past? Scientists can study ancient pollen to investigate past vegetation communities and ancient charcoal to investigate past fire in the landscape. Pollen are tiny powdery grains less than the width of a hair, released in large quantities by flowering plants as part of their reproductive process. Each plant family makes a unique shaped pollen grain. Pollen grains that fall into water can last for thousands of years in the layers of mud sitting at the bottom of lakes, swamps or even the ocean. Fires in the landscape leave behind charcoal. Fire can be started by lightning or by people as a way of managing vegetation communities. The amount of charcoal left behind can tell us about the frequency and the intensity of fire. Charcoal fragments can also last for thousands of years in the layers of mud at the bottoms of lakes, swamps or the ocean. Scientists drill cores through the mud at the bottom of these water bodies to look at the pollen and charcoal in the different layers. Sediment cores have many different layers. Each layer is formed at a different time in the past. This microscopic evidence is small but mighty. By looking at the pollen grains and charcoal in different layers, scientists can reconstruct how vegetation communities changed over time and measure the frequency and intensity of fires in the past. Lake core records show us that around 20,000 years ago, during the coldest part of the last ice age, Australia was covered by large open grasslands with few trees. Fires were small and infrequent. After the end of the ice age, around 12,000 years ago, the climate changed and more trees filled the landscape. Small, cool fires became more frequent. Scientists interpret this as evidence that Aboriginal communities were deliberately burning the vegetation to keep the bushland open, part of a process of managing country. After the start of British colonisation in Australia in 1788, many Aboriginal nations were forced to stop using fire to manage the vegetation on country. Scientists can see the impact of this in the pollen and charcoal records from around Australia. Bushland became less open and filled with smaller, shrubby plants. Fires became less frequent, but were often much larger and more destructive. Evidence from around Australia tells us that landscapes have changed through time and that people have actively contributed to shaping these landscapes. As time detectives, we need to use many different lines of evidence to tell the story of how country has changed over time.